Hello and welcome back to the channel. You join me on day two of the long way round to Gibraltar. It's going to be an emotional today. There's so much going on, but first of all, we need to get to my beloved Ashworth. Cue the world intro. My goal is to prove that you can ride the entire world by motorcycle, taken on each country, leg by leg, aiming to store my bike in different locations while needing to fly home, work a full-time job, and of course, look after my amazing family. This is my dream, this is my goal, this is my adventure, so let's go. So my first aim this morning is to set off from the hotel, I think it's about 10 kilometers, maybe less, to Sol Moto, that's the Honda dealership that's been storing my Honda Monkey Bike Ashworth for two months. I've got a bill to pay about 250-ish euros and that's including a tire and a service and they're gonna check over the bike as well. And then I'm gonna put a pin in the map and head into Spain and try to get to the Spanish mountains, try and find something really unique and special. It's gonna be a winging it, but fun day. But the biggest thing of it is, the biggest thing of all is, I cannot wait to get back to the bike. I cannot wait, I've literally packed. I've just got to put my socks on, my shoes on, and we'll get there. There's a couple of things that I didn't think about. So I've just brought shorts with me because I've got my uh, road skin motorcycle jeans on the bike. Obviously, I'm picking up from a dealer <laughs> in my shorts, so I might just ride down the road and somehow get changed, I don't know. I'm gonna figure it all out as I go. The other thing I didn't do is pack any uh, deodorant or soap, because normally when I land, I go straight to my bike and get on the road. I didn't think about that. So here, I've had no toothpaste, no deodorant, no soap in the hotel, and this hotel hasn't got anything because it's cheap. Um, I might be a bit stinky by the end of today, but who cares? I don't care if I get stinky because I'm going to get Ashworth back. Right, let me grab my bag, let's get in the Uber, let's get to the bike. Well, I've made it to Soul Moto Honda in Faro to collect Ashworth. They're still closed, there's a few minutes yet. As soon as it's open, I'm gonna get Ashworth back. Proper, proper excited, I'm grinning ear to ear. I just can't wait to get on the road. I just can't wait to start getting some miles down, getting back in the swing. So hopefully, within a few more seconds, I'll reveal to you Ashworth back on the road. Well, here we go, the first ride on Ashworth after ages. I'm being swamped by people, it's quite funny. Right, let's go on the road. See you later, dude. Oh. This feels really strange after such a long time. Good. It's been sat for ages. Oh, that does feel really weird. Really weird to pull off on this straight away. Right. Here we go then. This is it. We are off. I was at the dealership for an hour and a half. hour and a half I was at the dealership for because when I got there they'd opened up because there's only one person that speaks English that's awesome by the way Hugo I was like picking up the bike and he just went oh no, the guy behind the counter so I was there for ages and it's lovely when they've stored the bike they wheeled it out and I just thought oh it's like been like nearly 30 30 minutes or so at this point I was like oh a well, plus side of it is is um at least I know now that at the end of the day, at least I know now, it's ready, it's going to happen in a minute. Then literally, 
the guy wheeled it back in again. I was like, what's going on? And the guy couldn't speak English again, so I paid for the bike, everything else, while this was going on. So I was outside for ages. Another guy came out and said, key, so I gave him the key. <laughs> Thinking, what's going on? And then, uh, Hugo came out and says, oh, where's the bike? And I was like, I don't know, they wheeled it back in. And it went, no one speaks English, so no one can tell me what's going on. So Hugo went back off again, came back and he said, oh, that's the valve, because they've changed the tyre, the valve, they didn't obviously change the valve, they said the valve on it is leaking very slowly, so they want to make sure it's perfect, so they've changed the valve. So then I'm there for another, I don't know, well, it's an hour and a half, so ages, and then, then, <laughs> they, Hugo comes out and says, ah, so you know, now I've got to remember, there's been a new bearing put in the back of this. Um, I think two bearings now have been put in this. That must be the third. Yeah, the third bearings go in this. Anyway, he said there's the the wheel, not the bearing. The wheel itself is is wearing. Now this bike's done in I don't know what this is in miles, but 16,819 kilometres. Said it's wearing. He said so they've made have custom made like a washer where the wheels bent because there's a gap he goes so it should last you he said for a long time still he said but you need to consider yeah he goes you need to consider replacing your probably your rear wheel in the future he said it's fine now it will get you a long 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 way don't worry but in the future you need to consider changing that so I was like going, right, okay. So what my thinking is now, is I get obviously the long way to Gibraltar done, I get Africa done, and then potentially I start looking for a wheel. Maybe why obviously I'm still in Europe, or potentially buy one and get it shipped to where the bike's being stored and replace the entire wheel on the back. But I'll speak to Lee from Ashworth Automotive because he's the guy that's helping me out all the time with this. He, built, he helped build the bike. And uh, I'll ask for what he thinks I should do, but I've always already got a feeling he's going to say, no, get a new wheel or get another wheel and put a heavy duty bearing in. He'll probably want to do it and I'll probably ship it out, but we'll see how it pans out. But Ashworth is back on the road, fully serviced. Everything's been looked over. There's a couple, there's one thing I want to check, but not now, because I spoke to him about my heated grips, one of them not working. But generally, full service, brand new rear tyre on the back of this bike. It should be good, like you said, to go for a lot of miles yet. So what I've done is, all I've done, because I want to get away from the dealership, I've had no breakfast, I've had no coffee, no nothing that's not like me, but because I went cheapskate hotel, that cheap, there was literally no soap or anything in there. <laughs> I am, uh, I am now just aiming to get out of Portugal and into Spain. And once I get out of Portugal and into Spain, I'm going to pull over and I'm going to get myself a drink, I'm going to get myself some water, I'm going to stock up a bit. But we're all good. I've got my Chris, Chris gloves on. These are Chris gloves, Mr. Goff. To be fair, these are really nice and breathable. And hey, jazz hands, baby! Um, and the jacket's nice and breathing as well. So all we've got to do now is hack down some miles. It's all, I've literally just put motorway or whatever their version is. Just want to get me out of Portugal into Spain. And then I'm going to pick somewhere on the map and I'm going to start heading up into the mountains. But what a feeling. What an absolute feeling to be back on the bike. It feels like forever, absolutely forever. Wow. Well, we are just literally about to leave Portugal and head into Spain. They've got police and everything on the other side of the road, checking everybody coming in. Hence why the queue's building up there. So here we go, look. See you soon from Portugal. It's been amazing. This is what they call, by the way, the no man's land coming up. So this is goodbye to Portugal. And then you kind of got this no man land between over this bridge between Portugal and Spain. But it's been amazing. We've managed to ride literally the most of the north of Portugal, the whole length of Portugal, and now we're coming out right down in the south of Portugal, because I kind of wanted to, to do that, so going up and going through, I really wanted to come down and come across, and then go up into the mountains, just so I feel like I've been all the way down, all the way across, and yeah, it's proper cool, proper, proper cool. So let's see what border control is like now, because um, when I came in, the north of Portugal, there was like nothing, absolutely nothing. But seeing all the police cars with their blue flashy lights going there and pulling people in, 
that gets a little bit interesting but that's Portugal gone and this is Spain wow <laughs> I know I've been in Spain but now this is the south of Spain so I've been in the north I've been in the south and obviously very much later on we will do a whole load more of Spain on another leg but that's coming up in the future but wow is this it? Commando de Adraligosco yeah I'm just, if they stop me I'm just going to give them jazz hand criss gloves that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be like jazz hands are we in? are we out? was that it? no there's got to be some kind of border surely ah we're coming off here so I put the town in just past which is where I'm going to grab myself a coffee that can't be it can it? are we in Spain? Is that as easy as the boarding cross got going in? The Portuguese are like, no, we are going to check everything for you, Spanish people. The Spain's like, yeah, come in, come in. Why over that, or I've not actually crossed the border. No, I must have crossed the border, surely. No to play us. I am guessing that is it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the south of Spain. We've done the Algarve and now welcome to the south of Spain. My mouth is so dry, <laughs> I need a drink. Right, let's go and get a El Cofiotto, baby. So I've crossed the border, I've chilled out just in this cafe behind me just there and bought some cheap drinks. It's cost about seven euros for three coffees, a non-alcoholic beer and a sandwich. What's incredible. So I'm feeling really, really chilled and really, really good now. Now the plan of it is, is to head up, like I said, try and get into the mountains. It's called Aracenta, I believe, is where I'm headed to. It's about an hour and a half-ish ride away, and we'll make it up from there. But we're going to hit the road and get some miles in. Well, instantly be back on the road. Now the bike is out in the sun, so it's like sitting on a pool of lava, and my and my um, and, and my man area down there is rather sweaty at the minute it is proper roasting and the thing about it it's just going to get hotter because obviously you get what they call like the afternoon sun um, and that's when it gets to its peak so i'm expecting to do a lot of sweating so i want to get as much move on as i can now to kind of get that chill out time i need to pick up some water keep myself hydrated i've got my um I've got my camel sack kind of thing that I was bought that I could try and fill up somewhere so I might do that at some point but right now it's about getting away from the busyness getting out on the road and taking in as much of Spain as I possibly possibly can but being back on Ashworth it's a love it was like love at first sight it's like going back to an old lover and then going through the whole motions of that like it's like having breakup love you basically come back and you just it's just even more amazing so basically me and Ashworth are having a moment and hacking down some miles so let's just take in the beautiful beautiful side of Spain now it's nice to be back let's see what it's got to offer let's get some miles done well I've hacked down a few miles I will show you shortly on the map properly where I'm going but it's so sunny it's so bright the screen's gone dark because the phone is roasting what brings me to like it's strange because every leg that I've done on this trip I have pretty much had people with me haven't I like I've had Lee with like with me I've had Paul with me I would picked my bike guys with me we met Rob and it feels really odd to be cruising along here by myself but it's cool it's nice I'm enjoying the sun I'm definitely enjoying the sun so it's lovely hang on a minute what the heck? Live your life within the moment, moment And don't go wait until the morning, morning You never know when it is over, over All that I know is we'll get older, older So let us dance this side away Well, can you believe it? Mr. Paul Checkers, Mr. Paul Checkers, the man himself, has come to ride with me. Now, my tracking link is live, but what's he doing on that? Let's find out. Well, Paul, or should I now say twat, two-wheeled, two-wheeled auto twit. Two-wheeled auto twit. That's yeah, your that YouTube channel now. YouTube channel. 
A little bit behind the scenes for you now. It is. You're filming me filming you. Uh-huh. Now the in- <laughs> now the interesting thing, the interesting thing of it is, is that as far as I was aware, you were really busy at work and you said I'm taxi driving I can't give you a lift to the airport I thought was odd and then your daughter took me all the way there because you're so famous now so popular it's so hard my taxi number's ringing off the hook but to be fair since we've been here for I'm two famous. seconds it's non-stop yeah so here's the question what's going on because you're on a mobility scooter with a taxi sign on the top of your head I'm working right I'm working <laughs> I, I've got to pay for these trips to get to you so I've been taking taxi jobs all across Spain and Portugal I've even broken down and I had to hire a mobility scooter apparently so did you start <laughs> off in your taxi in, in Bristol in, taxi in Bridgewater Bridgewater so I keep saying Bristol Bridgewater then I, then I moved up a step to Bristol <laughs> <laughs> and yeah I worked my way across here and I'm, I'm now trying to get a family of five with all their suitcases <laughs> onto a little scooter <laughs> <laughs> just to pay to be with you have you finished work now or are you going to be picking well, random strangers up as, as we're going as along? Asworth doesn't break and you don't need a taxi. That's a good point. <laughs> now you I've, have your I've taxi got a backup vehicle. Time. Yes, a backup vehicle. <laughs> so it's going to be me and you, proper old school. It's becoming me and you, isn't it? Proper <laughs> old school. You said you weren't coming yet again and you've I'm not, appeared. I'm not yet. Well, you, <laughs> I'm not actually here. You're not here. <laughs> this is all CGI. <laughs> I can't believe you're on a mobility scooter and you've been taking families of five on there. Are they like midgets? Am I allowed to say say that? Yeah, you can just say midgets. Small people. <laughs> <laughs> families are small people. Huge families. We just strap them on. Just bungee, se- bungee straps and cable ties. To be fair, I've seen that a lot in India. That, yeah. that, 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 that happening. Yeah, this is nothing. You see, India, India's not seen how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to come with me. We're doing the long way to Gibraltar. We're going to go into the mountains. Yeah. We're going to make this as cheap as possible because yeah. obviously you're going to have to get more taxes yeah, if I not. I can't keep working. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to just basically have a blast now. It's going to be fun. So it's like the it's like the A team, oh, the AP team. AP team. <laughs> <laughs> the long way to Gibraltar. Yeah. <laughs> well, now we've got Paul with us. What's proper made me smile. I'm just going to go quickly around Ashworth because when I was obviously at the dealers, I couldn't do that because it's so busy and I got swamped with people when the wheel, when the bike got wheeled out. So I'm going to have a quick look around. I'll just show you some of the bits that they've done and I will show you the map exactly where we're going. It's getting hotter and hotter. I've put sunscreen on, I'm all protected, but mostly I look sexy because I've got a glow now. So Ashworth has had a full service, like I said, by the Honda dealer. So it's had all its filters, everything's been changed there. It's also had a rear tyre put on here what? because I had a, obviously it was getting low and it was going down. They also discovered it needed a new valve, so they've changed the valve. They've given the chain a little bit of a grease, but obviously doing the tyre, what they've obviously done is they've made it all the right settings, so that's perfectly set me up as well. It's literally ready to go on the road. I asked them to take a look at the heated grip. I'll test that later. It looks like this has been moved, so they potentially have done something, but we'll find out later if that works or doesn't work. On the map, so this is where we are in Spain, and we're gl- taking the longer route off of the main sort of motorway roads, and we're gonna go all the way down to here to Ari Center, I believe that's called, and that's our plan, try and get some of these nice twisty routes in, so it should be a good blast. So Paul, how are you finding your beast then? Obviously you've traveled many miles to be here. Look at it. Lovely. What what brand is it? A, a sum? A, a sim. sim. A sim. S Y M. I don't know what the actual is. Is it like? I call it a sim. Should we call it Slim Shady? Slim Shady. Yeah. The Slim Shady yeah. scooter, and it's a one two five. That's right. Yeah, it's only one two five. This one. So, it, are you going to struggle to? Well, you, I've not it? pressed the third bow yet. Uh, no, this is very true. And I'm just yeah. cruising because of the heat. So if yeah. you overtake me, it's not because I'm lacking in power and Absolutely. I'm overweight Absolutely. and I'm over full. Yeah. It's just I'm chilling. I'm not exactly light on myself. <laughs> <laughs> you'll still, you'll still, no, you, you won't beat me. I'm not going to admit, I'm not going to admit to that. Now, your, you, your channel's quite new, isn't it? So yes. I've lent you a little camera here so you can do some forward facing. Yep. You've got yourself a GoPro 8. You've got yourself a Purple Panda mic, if I'm right. Yes, yeah, that's um, in the helmet already. So you've got everything you need to film yep. it all. Apart from an Insta360. So Insta, you want, if you're watching. You want Insta to send you a 360. <laughs> yeah. You want um, a new GoPro. New well, two, well, two, 12, whatever. Well, the 12's want. coming out in about a month. Oh, I'll wait for that. So we'll get them, send yeah. you two 12s. Yeah. Yeah. What else do you want me to get you ordered? Um, drone. 
DJI. Yeah. The Mavic yeah. 3, the new one that's yeah, out. You happy yeah. with that? Or yeah. would you, or you like better than that? Or that. Yeah. Can you get better than that? Oh, well, I can ask them for a pro. Yeah. yeah, I'll get them yeah. for like a prototype. Yeah, just... Do you want any bike gear as well while I'm there? Do you fancy a new jacket, gloves? Need a winter jacket. Yeah, or oh, heated like gear. gear. Not here, heated gear, definitely. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, jeans, these are a bit heavy. Road skin jeans? Not road skin, but I would love a pair of road skin. I was going to say, because yeah. they'll be rubbish then. So yeah. get road skin, send your pair of jeans. Yeah. I've got a discount code for them, but I'll, I've got a contact there. So jeans, winter gear. Not much. GoPros, drone, 360. New 200cc scooter that I've got to return at some point. <laughs> 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 we'll talk about we'll that. Get that. We'll get to that because there is a story behind the story. What what isn't good because when you said you broke down, you broke down They'll more than once. Down. They'll they will, but we'll have a little chat about that in a bit. But we're all set. So shall we hit the road? Shall we try and get to more mountain? Let's, are... try, let's try and keep the rubber on the road. And not hit it <laughs> we don't really know where we're going, do we? But we put this place in. We, we don't know it's no but at least we kind of go we're definitely going to mountains it looks mountainy doesn't it yeah yeah it's that way yeah, it looks good it'll yeah. be all right yeah, right shall we hit the road let's go. let's go well let's get back on the road let's get some of these miles in i need some fuel shortly but when we get just out of this village in a few seconds i'm going to stick on the uh 360 and what we're going to do is make it epic we're finally in spain i'm in an awesome cool mood now i've got paul with me as well we're already planning all the beers that we're going to drink later. Paul's desperate to get the charity information out of me about what's coming up, and I keep swearing he's not going to get any of it whatsoever. Oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road. <laughs> and just to top that off, after that experience, he will have to get me loads of beers to get rid of this heart attack I just had. <laughs> <laughs> oh, proper plonkers, British plonkers abroad. Right, let's make some awesome 11 out of 10 cinematicness in this beautiful, beautiful part of Spain. Let's make this awesome. Feeling in my bones, I can feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know Well, we've been riding for quite some time, probably an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. And it's getting really hot. Obviously, it's the peak of summer. But it's like desert riding roads. And I keep going, do you know what? This would be really cool to like a desert shop with the drone. But I'm looking for a piece of shade. And the road had no shade on it for ages and ages and ages. Now, the other side of it is, is my fuel light has now started flashing. And we've just come into a village that says it had a fuel station, like 500 metres to a fuel station. I will show you the fuel station. Why we're here, we've booked our hotel now that's 90 kilometres away. And it's only... 40 quid 40 quid amazing there was others that were like 100 200 pounds with one room left because we are of course in the summer holidays so everywhere's booked out so this hotel has one review <laughs> and it's eight out of ten um i will find out when we get there on actual google it has a one star review so i don't know what we've booked but it's 40 quid and it's the cheapest and we can get a room each i've managed to get myself a double i think it's a double bed room with a balcony where paul because he's got a mobility scooter there was one that said disabled and it's the only one at 40 quid so he gets the disabled room with his mobility scooter 
Centre and I get the luxury, well say luxury, we'll find out what we get for 40 quid. Let me just show you the petrol station. So that over there, what's all boarded up with kind of a roof left on it, is the local petrol station. That could be a problem with a fuel light flashing. But the thing is, Ashworth comes with a fuel can, with three litres of fuel that I've not used since France. It's been, for months, it's been sat in there. So it's about time I used it. So I'm gonna to top it up with the three litres. That will give me basically a full tank in this until we can find a petrol station. But thank goodness for the fuel can, because that's flashing. This is like the middle of nowhere. We're in sort of mountainy deserty. So that's the plus side. Let's get it filled, filled up, then let's go on the road and let's get to the hotel, the 90 kilometers, and then it'll be chill out and time for a beer. So while we're waiting, let's see if we can get the fuel can off because last time, Lee did it with the strength of Hercules and now I can't even undo this again. How did I do it last time? Is that the right key? Yeah, that's the right key. Oh, I can't remember now. I don't know how I did it. Uh-oh. Um... So, it turns out these won't come off if you use the wrong key. <laughs> so this is the right key. This is how easy that should have come off. <laughs> right, let's get some fuel in this. So hopefully, oh shit. Hopefully, using the strength of Mankind, I can undo this. Jesus, man. I'm just gonna get Paul to do this bit. Here we go, watch this. I can't even see him, he's going all in man strength. Look. It was easy the first time. That's it, look at that. Oh, it's because I, I wash up with fairy liquid. My hands are really soft. Where Paul, uh, Paul, Paul opens beer cans just with his fingers. Look at that, see? Perfect. So what we'll do, we'll cut back to me so it looks like I'm the professional one. Now, another thing I did last time, this little cap lets it breathe. I didn't do that last time. So when we tried to pour it, it went everywhere. But we won't tell anybody that either. Do you hear the little hiss? That stinks already, that's hot fuel. Look at that. And then inside here, because I'm a professional, this just undoes. Now I've released that. Then inside here is the funnel as well. Oh, that smells, that smells, that smells roti. Anyway, we'll pop this down. And then what you do is you pull out basically its penis, like this. Pop this down the floor. You then push, push this bit through here. Think of this like a, don't think of a lady's hole. You push this through here and then it goes back on. Now it's ready to pour. And I'm gonna get Paul to come in nice and close to show you how professional that I actually am. This is, this is tilty. This is not going to go well, is it? And then you're supposed to just pour it in like that. It's leaking all over my hands, by the way. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you professionally make sure you're safe in any country and you've got fuel. Oh, I'm getting light-headed. Now Ashworth has about just over three quarters of a tank in her. What I'm going to do is I am going to show you a very sexy hydration scene. Then we're going to start heading the, whatever it was, 90 kilometres to the hotel. <laughs> the one star. <laughs> right, ready? Think, think Hollywood again. Think, well, Tom Cruise has asked my autograph anyway. So think Tom Cruise, because obviously I'm bigger. You ready? Uber sexy. Oh baby, I love your madness. It's so
after that very sexy scene, I forgot I put some tan lotion all over my face and my eyes are stinging. But I look sexy. And that's all that matters because it's all about filming and looking sexy on these vlogs because obviously being the most attractive British lord in the entire world, in Spain, in this exact spot at this minute, no one else can beat that. Right, back on the bikes. Let's get some miles down. It is really hot, but it is beautiful. Well, we are hacking it through the mountains. We've finally got to what it feels like proper mountains. And it's just beautiful, look at it. Paul's got that excited, he's told me to put my knee down and just zipped off like some crazy man. But I'm just enjoying every little second of just beautiful tarmac, beautiful roads. It's just so nice to be back out on Ashworth, taking in just more epicness. One of the things I always try to do is head off to the mountains, maybe a bit of coastline every once in a while, but the mountains is my favourite. I love that twistiness. And I'm just drop down gears as we're going further and further and higher and higher in the mountains. It's just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And Ashworth, again, because of the service, everything that's been done to it, it's just beautifully running along. Famous last words. But look, beautiful like lakes and mountains and making you all jealous now. But of course you can all come and follow me and be on the adventures. But the most important thing of it is you can come and ride these roads as well because we've seen hardly any traffic. And if you want to get to that Mecca where there's no one around, this is the place to come. Just, it's like hidden gem after hidden gem. And they come and offer you water because obviously they can see how hot and sweaty and sexy you look. They want you to pour water over your head. So the Spanish love us. But this is, this is gorgeous. I am in my happy place all over again, back on the bike that I love. Touring the world, getting on with another leg, and the long way to Gibraltar is awesome. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet, who you're gonna meet. Well, we've just arrived at the hotel and <laughs> The directions it gave us off of booking.com took us to basically to the police station and then the only one with the same name was 54 miles away. And we're going, this can't be right, this can't be right, it's getting on, it's almost eight o'clock. So we've sort of gone for what is a restaurant with a similar name, but we believe this is our hotel. So thankfully we're gonna check in. We're both getting a bit hot and sweaty, I think now. So we're gonna check in, have a beer. Let's go and get that done. Well, we have just managed to check in, obviously in the hotel. It's a bit echoey in here, so I do apologize. So this is the Hotel Tidja. It's rural Tidja. <laughs> I don't know. Now remember, this is literally on Google has one star and it claims to be a three star. And it's 42 pounds for a night for one for this room. So I'm gonna show you that and then I'm gonna go for a recap of exactly where I've been today on the map. So you have a better idea than I do where I am in Spain. 42 British pounds will get you a telly that you will not watch, as always, an awesome editing area with a plug that's fantastic. But most of all, a big double bed. That's nice, isn't it? You can hear downstairs, I've got to say that. Table, room service, I'm a lord, so he said no problem, send it up. Wardrobe space for all of your man suits to make you look even more cool. That's got a shutter down, air con, somewhere to hang all your wet clothes to dry them out as well. The perfect mirror. Let me just show you though. Let me just show you. The important bit, of course, is the throne. 42 quid, look at that. Perfect, isn't it? The throne has been disinfected from any peasant that may have sat on it before. A nice modern shower. We've also, also, the rainwater effect. I will be using that. But most importantly, the most sexiest lord in the world. So, having a quick look at the map, we're here, I'll show you in a minute, we started off in Faro, obviously, and what we've done is I've crossed li literally the closest border into Spain, and then I've gone up, and I've kind of done all these mountain roads, then we've kind of come right up here, where I was aiming to get to originally. <laughs> 
where am I gone on the map? Where am I gone? I'm right up here. And then I kept going, look, here we were aiming for originally. We got reasonably close and then we continue to go up and up and up. And we are in, but I can't pronounce this place, Siguro de Leon. Now what a day, what a day it has been. From getting finally back to Ashworth to find out that I had to wait basically an hour and a half to get that valve sorted and get the bike sorted. To be able to finally get on the road, get across that border. And there was a little bit of a mess with all the police cars on the other side, but they let us in with no problems whatsoever at all. Obviously, getting to meet Paul, I know that Paul's going to be with me, is fantastic. Seems I've got someone I can enjoy some really nice beers with. Absolute legend. The kit that Chris Goff has sent me has been fantastic. I've not used the water bladder yet, but those gloves and that jacket, it's really, it's so hot, even the Spanish people aren't out. So when that guy gave us the water, was generally because it's like, no one's going out because I want to be in air conditioning because the temperatures currently, it's been all over the news. So for him to go and grab us some water, cold, big cold bottle of water, what an absolute legend, absolute legend. And of course we've arrived here. Now this is the long way to Gibraltar. So I'm going in, up, round, I'm gonna come back probably on myself because Paul's actually hired that scooter from nearer to Faro on regards in Spain. So he'll either have to go back and join me in Gibraltar because he's booked a flight to fly back with me. So we've got to figure all that out, but we've still got another day of not worrying about that and just enjoying the ride. But for 42 quid, this hotel room, I'm so hot, I'm so knackered from the last two days, but Ashworth, back on the road, doing the next part of this world leg, it's just, I'm buzzing, absolutely buzzing. But what I'm gonna do now, it's that time of day, because we've been out all day, filming, doing it all, I'm gonna go and get a cold beer, and then of course, I'm gonna end this video. And we've got tomorrow to look forward to. Very similar, I'm gonna go downstairs, I'm gonna have a look what looks quite pretty, because we're right up in the mountains now, and pick somewhere, epic get the drone charged because obviously that's flat it's been in storage for two months make sure everything's ready and make the next episode the most cinematic episode yet that's my plan so i'll see you there time for a beer ciao ciao this adventure is supported by ashworth automotive in western supermare the number one garage keeping you and helmet head on the road